What's up guys? Carl here. Today in Power BI, we're going to be using Power Apps. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like to build a Power Apps and put that Power Apps into Power BI. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this end-to-end -end project. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your SharePoint site. So if you have a SharePoint site, go to that site. And then you want to come up here to Site Contents. You want to go to Site Contents. And then you want to do New. And let's just do a new list. And then we're going to do a blank list. And let's just call this list Suggestions. And then we're going to just hit we're going to uncheck that. Let's hit create. And then from here, I want to just change this. Change this title. Let's just call this name. So we're going to change this to name. And then we're going to add a column here. This is going to be a multi-line column. Let's just hit next. Then I'll, I just want to call this suggestions. And then hit save. We've created a list. So this is going to be our list. Pretty standard, straightforward list. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to Power Apps. So I'm come here and go to Power Apps. In Power Apps, we want to select Blank App. So we're going to start from a Blank App, Blank Canvas App. And let's just make this Power Apps name same thing as our list name. We're just going to call it Suggestion. It's going to ask you if you want to do a phone format or a tablet format. Let's just do tablet format. And we're going to hit Create. Once we do that, we can just skip this. So it's basically welcoming us to Power Apps. We're going to skip this. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to insert a form because we want to do a list form. And then once you do that, it's going to give you this right here. Let's just go ahead. I'll just I'll just go ahead and spread this out, and we want to connect to some data. So let's just say connect data, add data, and then we want to look for a SharePoint. And in our SharePoint, just go to your SharePoint, go to the one that you wanted, and then we want to hit suggestions. So this is the one that I created. So we're just going to hit suggestions. That's that SharePoint list. Then it's going to populate over here then you're gonna see that this form isn't connected yet and all we have to do is come over here to edit form one and then change our data source to the SharePoint list then once it does that it's gonna bring up that form in the SharePoint list form first thing I want to do with this is this is a lot of extra space that we don't want so we want to come over here to snap the columns and we're gonna do one one column once we get one column, we have our title name, suggestions, and attachments. The first thing I want to do is change this title name. I don't want it to say title. It should have changed, but it didn't change. So we'll just come over here to unlock and advanced settings. And then once we do that, we can come up here and type in this function. And what, not, what it's supposed to do is just grab the, the name from the list, but it didn't. So we'll just add a string. So we'll do double quotes. And we'll just call this name. So we'll just name that name. So that is that. And then here in our suggestions, we want this to be a larger box. So we'll just go ahead and pull that down. Shrink this size here because we don't need this, this whole entire field. And then we can just break it down. We want to leave some room for submit button. We'll just make it a little larger. So that, so now that it looks like this, the next thing you want to do is we want to insert a button. So we'll just insert our button. And over here in the button pane, you can change the button name to submit. So now you have a button that says submit. Now the button has no significance yet. So what we want to do is we want to be able to put in our name, add our suggestion, and then submit this to our list. So right now we, we select our button. We come up here and make sure this, this says on select. And then we can change this from false to submit form. So you see it fills itself out. 
Then it's going to do an open parentheses. The form that we want, if we come over here, we see that we have form one. So we want to look for form one. So let's just start typing out form. Then it gives us form one. We want to do a semicolon because this, go ahead and submits that first command. Then we want to hit enter. And let's just do this right here to, to create this drop down effect. So we have submit form. So what happens is we'll enter in information. When we hit that submit button, it'll submit to the form. The next thing we wanted to do is do a reset. So we want to reset the form. So you see it fills itself out here. We want to reset what form? Form one. So we'll reset form one, and then we'll do another semicolon, and then we'll do an enter. And then we want to make sure that when we do a reset, that it's back to the new form. So we'll do new form. So we have new form here, open parentheses, and then form one. All right, then we'll close parentheses. Extra text here that we don't need. Once we've done that, we have everything that we need. Last thing I want to do is let's just go ahead and minimize this. Let's come here to this box here. What happens is it, it defaults it to this mode, single line mode. And we want to go ahead and change it to multi-line. So now it's multi-line. And if we go ahead and hit play here, we have nothing. So in order to get that to work, we want to come here to a form. And default mode should be set to new. So once you set that to new and do play, now you'll see that form, Carl Huff, make more videos. We'll just do that and hit submit. And then once we submit, we see that it resets itself and it comes back to a new form. And if we go here to our list and hit enter, what happens is now we see that we have that new entry. And we'll make a few more entries in the Power BI. So now that we have our first Power Apps, we can come back here and we're going to hit save. And the Power Apps name is Suggestions. While it's saving, let's go ahead and open up Power BI. So we're going to open up Power BI. And in Power BI, we have a blank slate. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come here. Let's just go ahead and get data. And then we're going to just look for SharePoint list. So I'm just going to type in list here. So you can do SharePoint online list, SharePoint list. We're just gonna put in this URL, site URL. So if you come up here, site URL, you wanna put in this. So you wanna copy that. And then you wanna paste it here. Hit okay. So you're basically gonna look for your SharePoint list. So the one that we want is the suggestions. All right, so we'll hit that. And then we'll do a load. All right, so now we've loaded our SharePoint list. So we see it here. And if we come to our transform, if we come over here to our data view, we see that we have those, we have two entries that I entered. So I have the Carl Huff and the John Smith. So we know we're gonna be grabbing this title, which is Carl Huff, and we're gonna be grabbing suggestions, right? So if we come here and we come over here to the visualizations, we can say Power Apps. So if we do that, we can come over here and what happens is it's going to ask you all of these things but all you have to do is come here and hit edit once you hit edit you can bring over a field so let's just bring over this suggestion field and when you do that it's gonna bring up this you can create a new or you can just choose the app so you just choose that we have created this power app so we'll just choose that hit add we can skip this and now our Power Apps is going to be in our Power BI visual. So if you see here, you can kind of bring it to the size that you want it. You kind of leave it there. And hit this X. And if you wanted to see the information, you can just come here to, let's just do a table. And let's just say suggestions. And we'll just bring it over here on the, on the side. And now I'll just bring this down and expand this out. So here we have suggestions. So let's just say I wanted to enter some more suggestions. So it really doesn't matter who the person's name is, but we'll enter a name and we'll just say Mike Larry. 
and then we're gonna say I want to see more end to end projects and we'll hit submit and so you'll see that it submits and if you give it a second and hit refresh what happens is it's gonna you're gonna see that I want to see more end-to-end -end projects so now that you see that power apps has been created it's pushing to a SharePoint list that list then pushes into Power BI. Power BI is then able to capture those submissions. And now you've created a Power Apps and put it all in Power BI. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave some comments down in the comment section. Again, I'm Carl Huff. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.